On a hot, dry day in early November, smoke did fill the sky. The word had spread, a fire was coming, burning the bush so dry. My dad's in the fire brigade, so he was pulled further up the valley that day. And we were waiting, we weren't sure if the fire was going to come here. The great thing about having somebody in the fire brigade is that you tend to be fairly well prepared. But uh, the downside of that is that when the fire is here, they have to be away on the fire truck. For hours they sat in early November, unsure if the fire would come. We'll do what we can, the mother said. We'll fight, said the girl to her mum. I wrote about my experience with the fires. It was good to make a record of what happened and to tell the story of it so that I didn't forget. It was unbelievable. It was just black. There was no green left anywhere. But now it's only a year later and already you can see how green it is and how much is growing and all the wildlife that's come back already. There's quite a bit of regrowth up the top there. My wish for my nation on Australia Day will be that we address climate change. Despite the fire, especially now seeing it all recovering and the resilience of it, I would never leave this place and I'd always stay and defend it. Australia to me is living here, surrounded by forest and wildlife with my mum and our dogs and cows. We appreciate where we live all the time. And as the rain washed off the ash, the seeds were sprouting fast. The wildlife could be seen again, a vision unsurpassed.